the question says the straight lines l1 and l2 pass through uh, the origin and trisect the line segment of line uh, is equal to 9x plus 5y is equal to 45 between the axis if m1 and m2 are the slopes of line l1 and l2 then the point of intersection of the line y is equal to m1 plus m2x with line l lies on okay so for, first let us understand this graphically so graphical interpretation of this will be like this there are two lines given to you l1 and l2 which pass through the origin 0 comma 0 and their slopes are m1 and m2 respectively and there is another line l this is line l which they trisect like this right so these are the four points at which uh, they are getting trisected okay so what is this line l this line's equation is given to us which is 9x plus 5y is equal to 45 so now we know that here this is the intercept on x-axis and this is the intercept on y-axis which will be 0 comma x comma 0 and this is 0 comma y right so while substituting x as 0 we will get 0 plus 5y is equal to 40y 45 so y is equal to 9 and when we substitute y 0 9 x plus 5 5y no, this will become 0 is equal to 45 so x is equal to 5 so this point is 5 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma 9 right now we can find uh, these two points on the line L uh, using the information that is given to us that it trisects the line segment. So it is divided into three equal parts. Using the section formula we can find out the coordinates of P and Q. Let's assume this ratio is since the line is being trisected equally. We can divide it into the ratio of 1 is to 2 to find the coordinates of point P. So that will be using the formula which is M into X2 plus N into X1 by M plus N comma M into Y2 plus N into Y1 divided by M plus N. Here M is 2 sorry m is 2 and n is 1 because it is being divided in the ratio of 2 is to 1 so using that 2 into x2 is 5 plus 1 into x1 is 0 1 into 0 divided by m plus n which is 2 plus 1 3 this is the x coordinate of p and y will y will be So this will give you the coordinates of P as 10 by 3 comma 9 by 3 which is 3. Similarly we can find for Q which will be 5 by 3 comma 6. For Q you can assume the ratio to be 1 is to 2 right from this this unit distance is 1 is to 2 using the ratio 1 is to 2 you can find out the coordinates of Q. Now once we have the coordinates of P and Q. Now we can find the slope of these lines. Um, which is L1 and L2 so that will be slope of line L1 will be using the formula 
y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that will be the coordinates of p are 10 by 3 comma 3 so 3 minus 0 divided by y2 minus y1 let us write it here 10 by 3 comma 3 so y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that will be 10 by 3 minus 0 so 3 divided by 10 by 3 will give you 9 by 10 similarly we can find out the slope of line OQ that is the second line which will be um, 6 by 5 by 3 that will be 18 by 5 then we have the line given to us with which we have to find the point of intersection y is equal to m1 plus m2 into x so let's substitute m1 and m2 as follows y will be y is equal to 9 by 10 plus 18 by 5 into x so y is equal to 9 by 2 x right so so now by substituting uh, the value of y is equal to 9 by 2 x in the line l we will get the point of intersection of these two lines so let us do that 9 x plus 5 into in place of y we will put 9 by 2 x is equal to 45 will give you 18 x plus 45 x is equal to 90 x is equal to 90 by 63 which is 10 by 7 and substituting x in equation 1 will give you y is equal to 45 by 7 so now we have got the point of intersection of these two lines which is uh, 10 by 7 comma 45 by 7 is the point of intersection all right and now we have to check this point of intersection will lie on which line you can verify this from the options if you substitute x and y coordinate in line y minus x is equal to 5 then you will find out that these uh, two points lie on this line so let us just substitute once 10 by 7 minus y coordinate which is 45 by 7 is equal to 5 so 45 minus 10 is 35 by 7 is equal to 5 and LHS is equal to RHS means this point satisfies the line y minus x is equal to 5. Hence the answer is the point of intersection of these two lines given earlier lies on the line y minus x is equal to 5.